Hello everyone. We're going to do a compression test on this Polaris Indy 400. Um, that was the latest thing we heard from a good friend of my dad. He knows a lot about these things. Let's first we'll check this cylinder here. Plugs are fine because we just replaced them last year, so it should be fine. Let's see here. Uh, is it this one? Alright. Screw this dude in. Get our meter out. This is not mine. I really do need to get one of these. They are not too cheap. Let's see there. That's on. Let's see if we can get the camera set up. Let's see it. So cylinder one was 115, and cylinder two, this one here, is only well, it lost a little bit, but it's just under 105. So this is no good. So we're gonna have to do a rebuild on this. So thanks for watching. All right, guys. It is a few days later, and here is the Polaris snowmobile. This unfortunately does need a rebuild, as I uh, previously stated. When that's gonna happen, I don't know. I want to do it really soon so we can get some use out of this this year. It's already registered. Um, there's already going to be probably, I'm sure there's plenty of projects in the summer I'm going to have. In fact, I can already think of too many. I would just like to do it this winter. Um, i got to do a little more research to see how much uh, a, a kit for this is. And I would probably go ahead and get gaskets, I, I guess. Um, definitely rings, probably just pistons too. Um... And this will require a fair amount of labor because uh, a lot of stuff has to be unhooked to pull this engine out. Although it honestly will not be as bad. This isn't going to be as bad as I thought. Um, it's going to be pretty easy, or well, fairly simple, I should say, to uh, get all of this apart uh, and get the pistons out. Although it is going to be a little time consuming, so I don't know when this will happen. I, I'm hoping that, uh, to do it really soon, but I uh, have to do a little more research first. So thank you for watching, and please leave any advice. If you have any advice, you know, if you've rebuilt these engines, uh, the Polaris Indy 400, if you've rebuilt these and you uh, have any tips or suggestions i would uh very much appreciate that so thank you for watching and leave a comment if you'd like to